This is a video for the extra large liquid culture kit. It is a spore germinating system, but you will have to purchase your own spores separately. Liquid cultures allow you to isolate a specific high yield strain and clone that strain. And liquid cultures work relatively quickly because um, the spore germination process has already taken place and you are injecting live mushroom tissue into your substrate, which then colonizes more quickly. This kit will include a 60cc syringe. And in this bag, it's also going to include two 16 gauge needles, along with two isopropyl alcohol towelettes, a magnet for stirring, and then also the directions, which have some tips included as well. And once you've finished unboxing, go ahead and look for the white stir bar. Sometimes during shipping, it does get stuck to the lid, so you'll just have to hit the lid and then it should fall out fine. It's best to inject spores and start the process as soon as possible. Best results are achieved when used within two to three weeks after receiving, and once colonized, the culture can be stored in the fridge for three months. Plastic film is removed. You can go ahead and take the lock off your syringe and then we're going to put one of those 16 gauge needles on our syringe. You're going to want to wipe down the black self-healing injection port. And after that, you can slowly press the needle through the self-healing port and inject your spore syringe. And then you have the option of putting a piece of clear tape over the injection port. After a week, it should start to look like this, and you're gonna to wanna to use the black magnet and connect it to the white stir rod and stir your mixture about once a day. And after sitting for a while, this is what the liquid culture will start to look like. This is your mycelium growing. And once your liquid culture is ready, it's time to give it another stir. And then we're going to draw up some of our liquid culture using the 60cc syringe. And when you're drawing up that 60cc syringe, you will have to have your liquid culture jar tilted towards the side. If you do get a little air in your syringe, it's okay. You can just tip it upside down with the needle pointing up and then slowly press out some of that air. an agar plate that has cordyceps on it and we're going to use a scalpel to cut a little triangle of it off and then we're going to add that to our liquid culture so that later we can make some liquid syringes with our cordyceps. We're just going to open this. You want to take um, a section that has like the most new growth. We're going to cut a little triangle out lift it up using our scalpel and then since we're under the flow hood we're just going to open our jar really quick and then just tap it in close our jar so now we're going to show how to take a culture of our cordyceps agar plate using a our punch tool. Taking out of the packaging, you're just going to take the lid off, open up your plate lid, take a quick punch. Closing the plate, we're going to open our liquid culture and then just go ahead and tap it in and place your lid back on. So after we've added our cordyceps and agar punches, it'll take two to three weeks for mycelium to start developing and then after you can see uh, 
mycelial growth happening, that's when you'll be able to take your liquid syringes. So in order to have the most successful liquid culture, we always recommend using an agar plate because that way you can see that you have clean growth. Um, sometimes when you're using a spore syringe, they might have contaminants in it, which will then um, result in your liquid culture getting contaminated. And then we always recommend testing your liquid culture on an agar plate first to make sure that you don't have any contaminants and then you can proceed to inoculating whatever else it is that you're going to inoculate. So when using the extra large liquid culture kit, our team has gotten up to 50 10 cc syringes with it. And then if you're using our regular sized one, you can get about 30 liquid culture syringes. Just a little tip if you will be drawing up multiple syringes, try not to do this. You want to create a new little hole every time rather than going into the same hole because then your port will not self-heal anymore. And lastly, here are both of the liquid culture kits that we offer. If you have any questions, just send us an email to support at midwestgrowkits.com. Thank you.